Awesome. Uh, Rend is a local band. We are incredibly happy to have them uh, here for our opening ceremonies. Actually, these guys have had an incredible last couple of months. Uh, they were chosen as Rocco Radio's Breakout Artist of the Year. They have a, a new CD that uh, they were just given away called Winter to Summer, and they won the Edmonton Music Award for Rock Recording of the Year. Uh, they have some of their CDs available on your way out as well. You can follow them along at rend-music.com. So again, another big round of applause for Rend for kicking things off. So there you go, welcome to our official opening ceremonies for our 22nd annual Provincial Skills Canada competition. I just want to start by saying a huge congratulations to all of our students, our teachers, our volunteers, and our partners and sponsors that are here, that have come together here this week to celebrate the skills movement. So thank you so much for being there and for being a part of our opening ceremonies. Also I want to say a special thank you to Premier Dave Hancock who's joining us tonight in the crowd. The Government of Alberta has been an incredible partner with us over the, the course of the life of our provincial skills competition so thank you Mr. Hancock for being here and we'll hear from the Premier in just a few moments. My name is Corey Laranger and I'm your MC uh, over the course of the next three days, not only for the opening ceremonies, but we have a, a partnership luncheon tomorrow afternoon. We also have our uh, huge awards ceremony on Thursday night and I couldn't be more honored to be a part of it. Uh, this is actually my third time uh, being the official MC of the Provincial Skills Canada competition and uh, I really feel just as privileged that I, as I always have to be a part of it. So thanks to Skills Alberta for having me a part of the family. I really appreciate it. This is an incredible and very memorable couple of days that you're all going to live. And uh, just by show of, uh, so we're calling them Bam Bams, your uh, glow sticks there. By show of Bam Bams, how many of you are here for the first time? Quite a few, that's awesome. They look so good in the dark too. So I promise you, this is something that you guys are never going to forget. This is something that's going to stay with you for the rest of your lives. You're part of a, uh, a very special community and family now. Over the course of the next couple days as well, if you're going to be tweeting, Please use hashtag we are skilled. It's going to help us connect and help us get our message out as well. And uh, we're going to be having a little bit of fun with our uh, hashtag and we're going to be tweeting out a picture as a little thank you to all of our partners and sponsors in a couple minutes. So I'll explain that in just a few moments because without our, sponsor, our, our, our partners and sponsors, this event wouldn't be possible. And there are some of them that are, have been with us for a very long time, including the uh, government of Alberta. So again, a warm thank you for the government of Alberta for their support. A huge thank you as well to the Government of Canada and Employment and Social Development Canada for their support. Our beautiful, beautiful opening ceremonies, uh, the uh, production team with Invert 720 put together this set and everything and uh, none of these opening ceremonies or any of this would be possible without uh, Construction Labour Relations of Alberta, so thank you so much for being our main sponsor for opening ceremonies. And we have a tremendous amount of gratitude for uh, our uh, official sponsors and partners. So first off, a huge thank you to our skills champion, Synovus Energy. We have two platinum sponsors, United Associations of Plumbers and Pipefitters Local 488, as well as Suncor Energy. So a huge thank you to them as well. We have four elite sponsors, I'll name them off, Shell, Building Trades of Alberta, Pembina Pipeline Corporation, and Constructure, Construction Labor Relations. Thank you so much for your support. And finally, but not least, to our gold sponsors, we have seven of them, to CLAC, to Finning, Imperial Oil, Nexon, Transalta, and Canna and Syncrude. Thank you for your support as well. Thank you so much. I need the phone to take a picture. All right, so this is how we're gonna do it. So every year I like to do a little thank you, a little special thank you for our partners and sponsors. And seeing as, uh, you know, tweeting out selfies is all the hubbub and the cracking this year, that's what we're gonna do, all right? So I'll take a little picture. I want, I'm gonna try and get everyone in this as much as possible. If everyone can stand up and wave your bam-bams, 
We're going to take a picture and I'm going to tweet this out to all of our partners and sponsors as a thank you. All right, here we go. Wait, you guys, you guys look great. Let me just take one of you guys. One more time, up please. Thank you. It looks way better with just you guys. Awesome, thank you. So there you go, that'll be our special little thank you to our partners and sponsors. Uh, I'm sure that they, they will appreciate that because they definitely uh, invest a lot of resources, a lot of time and money into making this event as incredible as it is. And uh, without their support, none of this would be possible. So thank you again to our partners and sponsors. And a huge uh, thank you as well to our teachers and our volunteers who make this event possible and who make it possible for you guys to be here. So a nice round of applause to them as well. Competing in the uh, Alberta Provincial Skills Canada competition are over 700 students representing every corner of this beautiful province. And over the next couple of days, you're going to live something pretty special. Those of you, of you that are here for the first time, or even if you're here for a second or third time, here's a little sneak peek at what we have lived and what we will, we will live. These people are passionate about trades that they're in, and there's so much variety here. It's incredible the amount of work that goes into it. It's a huge competition. Skills Alberta in particular, it's as big as the national competition is, if not bigger. A competition like this, that's able to showcase a little bit of what we do, getting even just a little bit of interest into the trade. It is such a professional, well done competition that the kids feel supported in it. They feel like they can do their best and really open their eyes to what's out there. Become an advocate for the skill building that students achieve through events like this. Skills Alberta means so much to me. It means so many opportunities and just so much support too. Nothing looks better on a resume than competing for your trade and doing well. Students that go through these competitions gain greater insight because it's connected directly to industry. It builds a better future. Synovus is very proud to be a sponsor because the skilled tradespeople are very important to our industry and to our province. There's a definite need for the employers to start finding the correct people and the good qualified people for the job. Just being part of the competition will help me in my career so much because I know what I can do. If there was no skills competition, I would never have a chance to show off what I can do. I would like to be working alongside these apprentices because they're the best. All of you are now part of the Skills Alberta family and the Skills Canada community. So welcome to the family and uh, to help us welcome you here and to this uh, great event, please welcome the Dean of Trades for Lakeland College and the President of Skills Canada Alberta, Mr. Bert Samuelson. Lots of energy. Good evening competitors, teachers, guests and partners. Thank you all for joining us at the opening ceremonies. The 700 students here tonight reflect the very best of Alberta's trades and technology talent. You are highly skilled, confident, and impressive individuals. Our theme this year is discover, build, and refine your skills. It reflects the journey that brought you here and an incredible opportunity that awaits for you over the next two days. You are the faces of a proud new generation of talent and we're honored to celebrate your skills. I know you and your teachers have spent a lot of time and energy to prepare for this opportunity. 
Thank you to our champion teachers for investing your personal time to ensure these students have a chance to shine. We send our deepest thanks to the hundreds of techni technical experts that volunteer to work with us regionally, provincially, nationally, and even internationally. In no other province in the country will you find a greater support for skilled talent. Thanks to our government, industry, labor, and education partners, we are building a culture of pride and recognition for Alberta's tradespeople. We are fortunate to have a steadfast partners like the Government of Alberta and tonight's host, Construction Labor Relations of Alberta. Their commitment, along with countless others, has been instrumental to Skills Canada Alberta's success for over two decades. Their support ensures our competitors have the opportunity to reach for a new level of personal excellence. To each of you and all our competitors, work safely and have fun, and I'll see you on the floor tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Bert. That was great. And uh, Mr. Samuelson uh, definitely alluded to it and mentioned it, that the government of Alberta is uh, the longest serving and biggest supporter of Skills Canada Alberta and the skills movement. Since its inception, this event, 22 years ago, the government of Alberta has supported the vision of creating a program that connects students to incredible opportunity. So please uh, help me in welcoming and thanking Alberta Premier Dave Hancock. Thank you, Corey. I think this podium must have been made by somebody at Skills Alberta. That's quite a treat. Well, welcome to competitors, coaches, officials, teachers, employers, volunteers, family, friends. It's an absolute pleasure to be here with you today. I followed the Skills movement uh, for some period of time, and. It, had the privilege of being at the World Skills in Calgary and seeing what an exciting event it is, what an exciting opportunity it is. And I know that some of you will aspire to be not only at Skills Canada, but at the World Skills competition this coming year. And whether you're here to compete, cheer on someone special, or learn more about the trades and technologies, I know everyone is excited to be here. To our hardworking competitors, You've accomplished a great deal just to get here. You've committed to training. You've worked hard to expand your knowledge. You've put in long hours and made sacrifices. And along the way, you've had the support of mentors, teachers, and coaches, your family and friends and classmates, and the dedication of the Skills Canada Alberta team and other sponsors. During the next three days, You'll also find you have the support of many volunteers who are working behind the scenes to ensure that this competition runs smoothly. And you'll have the admiration of hundreds of spectators. Don't get nervous, but there will be hundreds of spectators. And they'll be dropping by the grounds to see you in action. It's so important. You will be an inspiration to many other students to follow behind you. This competition is a wonderful showcase of the value and importance of skilled trades to our province. It offers us a glimpse of the many careers that are available to young Albertans and older Albertans, from auto body repair to welding, painting and decorating to landscape gardening. Last year, there were more than 65,000 apprentices registered in Alberta. We're on an upward trend and we expect this number will continue rising as more people realize the kinds of exciting opportunities that await them in the trades. People entering the trades today require solid academic foundation, strong mathematical skills, not to mention leadership, problem solving, creativity, but most important, a real passion for the work that you're doing. Today, people in the trades are highly employable, earn a good income, and have the ability to move into senior leadership roles as managers, educators, and entrepreneurs. If you look around at some of the most successful companies that we have in Alberta, they're owned and run by tradespeople who've moved into management and moved into an entrepreneurial role. One of the ways that we're encouraging more apprentices to enter and complete their programs is through significant investments in our apprenticeship and industry training system. In March, 
the Alberta government announced it would build a portfolio of financial and other programs to encourage more apprentices to complete their programs and achieve excellence. Some of these programs will be possible through a $200 million top-up to the Alberta Heritage Scholarship Fund. And we'll be working closely with post-secondary institutions, students, apprentices, and industry to develop options for these new programs, which will be available starting 2015. This could include bursaries for first-year apprentices and additional government and industry match scholarships. We're also working to continue support pro for programs such as the Registered Apprenticeship Program and Careers and Technology Studies programs, as well as dual credit strategies. These provide high school students with real-world and on-the-job training as they complete their high school diplomas. Given the importance of the trades, it's not a surprise that Olympic-style skills competitions such as this have gained prominence around the world. They offer competitors rich and memorable experiences, serving as the foundation of a very successful career. Last summer, the Albertans were thrilled to hear of Nate's gold medal win by refrigeration and air conditioning mechanic apprentice Michael Schiedman at the World Skills Competition in Leipzig, Germany. And like Michael, yeah. Like my, Michael, each and every one of you as a competitor is an inspiration. Some of you will push through the next two days and move on to challenge the rest of the nation's best. Many of you who go on to capture the gold medal in your respective competitions will have an opportunity to represent our province proudly in Toronto next month. But all of you, I congratulate you for making it this far, for being proud representatives of your regions and of Alberta. Two weeks ago, I had the honour of attending the awards ceremony for the top apprentices in our province. I look forward over the next two years to greeting you there as the top apprentices in our province. And I'd like to thank everyone associated with this marvellous event and all of the competitors. I wish you the very best. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Mr. Premier. Thank you for your support and uh, for those uh, kind words and very encouraging words uh, that uh, we can hold with us over the next couple of days. Uh, this evening's opening ceremony, uh, we mentioned it, is brought to you by a, a long time and very important, very appreciated partner at Construction Labor Relations of Alberta. CLR has always been committed to shining a spotlight on the opportunities available to students who share this passion for excellence. So please welcome the President of Construction Labor Relations Association of Alberta, Mr. Neil Tidsbury. Well, thank you, and let me, let me join in welcoming you to the Skills Canada Alberta Competition and Showcase. Uh, as competitors, each of you have my admiration and my congratulations. You've earned your way, your way here. In choosing to develop your skills, uh, you've chosen to be the best, and now you're choosing to challenge the best. With what's on the horizon for you, your timing is outstanding. This competition will exhibit your motivation, your attitudes, your enthusiasm and initiative, and your superior knowledge and talents. And these are the very characteristics that are so sought after throughout our, our industries and our institutions. We also congratulate Skills Canada Alberta for their promotion of the opportunities in the skilled trades and technologies, and for showcasing your excellence. We recognize and appreciate the immense efforts uh, expended by the organizers and volunteers in, in this massive undertaking. We extend our very best wishes to each of you for a safe and rewarding competition, a great experience. And as the best of the best, each of you knows that when it comes to uh, safety, there are no shortcuts. So as you compete, please look out for each other and ensure everybody completes this competition without injuries or incidents. I hope you savor your experience and very best to all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's something that we really want to key on this year is uh, safety. It is and always will be the most important thing at our events and should be uh, in your future as well. So 
One of the most dangerous things at these opening ceremonies is the rush to the registration for those of you that have been there in the past. So please, this year, no running in the hall. We really want to make sure no one gets hurt. And uh, if you are caught running, we're going to have to push you back to the back of the line. So that's how it works. Yeah, there, no, wait, no, hey, no, we're not done. We're nowhere near done the opening ceremonies. Those are the guys that have been here before. It's ridiculous. We're going to have to start putting up like cattle gates and everything. <laughs> We still have some great stuff to share with you guys, so just hold off again for a few more minutes and we'll get to that. So tonight, we want to uh, as well honor one of our students and one of our volunteers who uh, demonstrates exactly this passion that you guys all have, as we can see right now. Uh, talent and commitment as well, and all of those three things uh, to the level that it takes to be masters in their field. Premier Hancock spoke about the student a little earlier in his speech. And last year, those two uh, sat right here in this room as representatives of Team Canada, ready to be a part of World Skills International in refrigeration and air conditioning. So the student was just like you guys, excited, eager to get started, uh, maybe a little bit nervous, but definitely very proud and uh, excited about what he could offer. The volunteer, his mentor, was also incredibly excited, probably a little nervous himself, and uh, very proud to see uh, the dedication to training come to fruition. Here is their skill story. I honestly don't do what I do because I think it's gonna benefit me in any way other than to give me the pride of seeing uh, somebody who's young and just starting out in a trade become the best they absolutely can be. Todd Matsuba was my mentor right from the start. You don't start instructing unless you really want to pass along the information that, that you've learned and the skills that you've learned. He was the one that got me into Skills Canada to begin with and he's helped me achieve every goal that we've set together. The competitor comes in with such low expectations of themselves and they leave with confidence and you know, the opportunity to, to show the rest of the world that they, they can be the best. So the amount of time and effort that he spends working with other people for them to enjoy themselves in their journey and, and to do a great thing like skills uh, is pretty unbelievable the sacrifice that Todd gives up. Todd and I started as more of a business relationship and now it's became more of a personal one, more like family. When I started competing as a first year, I didn't know a lot about the trade but as I grew, the trade grew with me and I gained so much confidence. My first competition, I was 18. I went into it kind of bullheaded and I lost. I got second last. My grandfather has three tickets in the trades and after I lost in provincials the first time, he told me that I needed to go back. And he says, you will win if you want to. Second time around, I got gold. I went to nationals and I got a gold at nationals, and then we started doing the year and a half training for internationals. In Leipzig, they told me it was going to be a big event, but I didn't imagine over 200,000 people walking through and talking to you. You had to just keep focused, and I was not expecting that at all. You know, nothing will ever beat uh, when Mike Scheidemann got called up to the, the stage. There was easily 20,000 people in that crowd and it was, the energy was just nuts. All this emotion was building up, building up, building up. Winning gold on the international stage was absolutely incredible. I was sitting right next to Todd and I think we just turned to each other and hugged each other and, and it felt pretty cool. He comes back and he shows you the pictures and tells you all the stories and all the things, people he met, things he learned. Uh, just really inspiring and it's something you want to be a part of. It's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I think the ongoing census is you have to go to college, you have to go to university to make a living, but skills shows people, 10,000 people at a time, that young students and apprentices can do things with their hands and be creative without going to college or going to university. They can go to trade school. You're going to spend a lot of time doing it, but you see them at the end of the day up on the podium. The, the power of and the emotion that, that's flowing in that, that room is just incredible. 
it just feels so good to be involved in that. I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. My experience with skills was the best thing I've ever done, bar none. It was, I don't even know how to wrap it up into words. Very inspiring story and uh, something to aspire to as well for all of you guys because uh, whether you're one of the uh, thousand students that competed in our regional competitions a little bit everywhere across the province hosted at our technical institutions or our colleges across Alberta, uh, some of you may as well earn a spot on Thursday night and uh, become a part of Team Alberta that will travel with us to Toronto for the Nationals or even you might go on to the next World Skills that are hosted in Sao Paulo in Brazil. Regardless of the outcome, you will have the experience of a lifetime here over the next couple of days and this will stick with you forever and you should be incredibly proud for at least making it here and for showing dedication and passion in, uh, in what you will do with your future. So make sure uh, you take that with you over the course of the next few days and you just really let it all sink in and just really appreciate the next couple of days uh, because you will remember it forever. Make sure as well that you can uh, share the award ceremony on Thursday night with your family and friends. They can uh, watch us on a live stream on skillsalberta.com. Make sure they know that. And yes, safety is our number one goal, so please no running. Our registration is by last names at the back of the hall. Alphabetically, you can make your way over there. And uh, on behalf of Skills Canada Alberta, I hope you really enjoy this adventure. Take care and thank you so much for being a part of it.